welcome everyone to a brand new YouTube channel called Paddleboard Journeys. I'm your host, my name is Dennis, and most people call me One End Dennis. As a matter of fact, that's my Instagram, O N E I N D E N I S. Uh, only have one end in my name, so everybody calls me One End Dennis. So, uh, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about the uh, channel. It's brand new, we're just getting started. Um, about 2017, I believe it was, uh, I was clicking through some internet uh, uh, things looking for, I've been in water sports, uh, doing water skiing and all kinds of things since I was about four years old, um, but I was on a website and kind of caught an ad off to the side about paddle boards, and I didn't know what paddle board was. So um, I started doing some research and then some investigating and uh, took me about a, a whole year. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of a researcher. Finally decided on a particular model and uh, you'll see that in uh, upcoming videos. There's a lot of good models out there. Matter of fact, I've got a brand new one um, that I haven't even put it on the water yet. But I wanted to try to do a, a few things to try to get everyone called up. So, in 2018, I believe it was July, we purchased first paddleboard and got out on the water for the first time and um, I fell off of it. I uh, got blindsided by a uh, uh, boater's wake uh, that hit me from behind, kind of at an angle. Uh, so I got initiated quickly, um, but after a few times out, I. Uh, Felt like I was confident enough to to take it just about anywhere I wanted to go. So five weeks later, we were in Mexico Beach, Florida, and we took our paddle boards with us and uh, my wife and I. And it was uh, her first time on the ocean on a paddle board, my first time on the ocean on a paddle board, and uh, we thoroughly had a a wonderful time. Mexico Beach, if you're not. Uh, familiar with that it's 60 miles east of Panama City Tyndall Air Force Base since sits in between uh, Mexico Beach and Panama City the waves in Mexico Beach don't actually come in real uh, hard so it's a great place to go paddle boarding um, without the big massive waves if you're into the surfing thing you know I go to Panama City that's a that's a great place to go um, but anyway there was a there's a little inlet waterway uh, on one side of Mexico Beach that we took our paddle boards to. I wanted to start the channel um, with a video that was done uh, in 2019 I believe um, and try to kind of bring you up to speed on some of the different places I've been. So the first couple of videos you're going to see uh, from 2019 and then probably the early part of 2020. And hopefully after after you know I don't know half a dozen maybe a dozen videos we'll get you caught up to the to now and and I'll try to do stuff on a regular basis and go to different places and show people different things um, show you the things that I've learned over the last few years and uh, look forward to uh, uh, growing the channel if you like what you see today uh, hit like and subscribe and we'll try to do our best to uh, bring out uh, new content and um, and go from there now one caveat the video you're about to watch I'm doing some video editing on a piece of equipment that I had to purchase because I haven't had a computer in my house in about nine years so I used to be a computer programmer and I'm no longer doing that and hadn't done that in about 25 years I'm aging myself a little bit here I know I got the gray beard going on and uh, uh, but I'm still young at heart and still still water skiing, slalom skiing, uh, paddle boarding, hiking. We try to we try to do stuff all the time just to stay active and keep moving. Um, so anyway, uh, still learning the video editing software and the laptop that I that I did a whole bunch of research on to, to buy. Um, also, the video was recorded on a uh, six-year-old. Uh, Samsung Note 3 cell phone um, so 
the audio and the video may not be up to par to what most people are used to seeing on YouTube but anyway we have purchased some new equipment and um, I'll try to show you some of that stuff as we go um, I'm recording uh, this intro uh, on it right now but um, this little introduction video is just introducing you to the channel again thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy what's coming up and uh, please hit like and subscribe and we'll see if we can uh, grow this thing and uh, maybe get to meet some of you guys someday so anyway uh, thanks for watching hey good morning everybody it's uh it's saturday morning um i'm down here at uh, center hill lake at indian creek and it's a little after eight o'clock um this morning i timed my uh airing up the uh, uh paddle board i started pumping up and went through all three stages of the pump and was able to do it in four minutes and 44 seconds so that was kind of cool, but uh, I wanted to um, put together a little something just to let everybody uh, see uh, what I bring uh, with me when I come to, to the water. I try to make it real simple. The first thing we got, obviously, uh, plenty of water, Gatorade, uh, anything else you'd like to drink. Got that right here in my soft shell uh, Arctic cooler. The next thing we have here is the life jacket. Everybody needs to have a life jacket out on the water. Um, I got one that's got a couple pockets. So right here I got my sunscreen in this pocket and over here I got my camera in this pocket so I can take pictures while I'm out here. Alright, we'll just zip that up and make that easily accessible right there. And then back here on the back of the board, I've got my Earth Pack dry bag, which we'll put right up underneath this strap. And inside my pack, I have um, a towel uh, in my shirt, and I got my keys, my phone, all that uh, nice and dry. Uh, inside a dry box inside a dry bag so I don't have to worry about uh, losing that if you'll notice on my dry bag here I have a little d-ring um, that little d-ring works good for my keen sandals and y'all see that wonderful water out there we're gonna do all oh, six seven hours worth of paddling today and uh one last thing, I got my little hat. Keep my bare forehead there from getting burnt. But uh, this will be my first Saturday run. I uh, uh, normally come up here during the week. Uh, not a lot of people out, so I noticed there was uh, three fishermen in the parking lot when I got here, which is highly unusual. Maybe you see one, but usually the parking lot's empty. But anyway, just wanted to... Uh, Kind of give you guys a heads up on what's happening on a Saturday morning uh, in the life of a paddleboarder. It's great.
uh, now, oh, about an hour, I guess. But uh, I kind of I wanted to give you guys a, a look at the, how the water kind of opens up. The sun um, has come out, uh, made it up over the tops of the, the hills there. So I got my hat on, shaved my face. And uh, one of the things about Indian Creek um, is if there's a main straightaway right there. Um, but the uh, cool thing is, is it has all these little fingers that go off to the sides that you can paddle back into and explore. Um, one of them that I went in already I had a cool little uh, family of uh, muskrats. These things were about the size of cats. But uh, it was kind of cool, uh, kind of following them down the bank, and they finally took all on up the hill. Uh, another thing uh, right over here, that is Indian Creek Youth Camp. They got a pretty nice little facility there. And then uh, there's another finger right there. It's got some fishermen over there fishing. Um, but I just wanted to take a... Take a little water break and uh, let you see a little bit of the water and scenery. Uh, it's quiet out here. Uh, it's really, really pretty early in the morning like this. Um, but uh, uh, everything's going smooth and uh, I'm going to try to paddle out to another little spot here a little bit and uh, have some lunch here in just a minute so uh, in a couple of hours who knows what nah, that's the cool thing about being on paddleboard you know you can just do what you want to hey hey everybody uh, let's see here it's about 10 30 uh, so we've been paddling now since about a little after eight, I have uh, gone the farthest I've ever gone on a paddleboard uh, coming down here at Indian Creek. I've actually made it to, can you see that right over there? That is, let's go this way. That is Edgar Evans State Park. And back over here around this little cove right there is Center Hill Marina and way back straight across there is Center Hill Dam so I'm gonna find me a little place here around the corner and uh, get me a little lunch and uh, try to refuel a little bit before I gotta be back um, this afternoon, uh, oh, around four o'clock or so. So uh, get everything put back away and get back to work. But anyway, that's how far we've made it today. If I made it so far, uh, you know what's really cool about being out here? This is a first that's ever happened to me. This is what I found floating in the water cap still on it we're gonna take that home wash that up who knows you might see it on eBay I don't know if you're the rightful owner give me a call I'll be more than happy to get back to you y'all have a good one I'll see you in a little while
Well, it's about uh, 1130. Uh, just finished up some lunch. So uh, I'll flash a few pictures there. Uh, let you see kind of where I was at. But uh, maybe if I back up right here. Yeah. See that ledge right there? Yeah. That one right there. That's where I had lunch at. But I'll put a few pictures out there for you. And pretty much the view is nice. You should try this. Come with me sometime. Hey, hey, it's about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I've taken uh, a couple of breaks to uh, get some water and uh, take a dip in this nice cool water. Uh, I don't know if you can see those power lines back there, but uh, that's always a good uh, indication that I'm getting close to being back to the ramp so um, got me a bottle of Gatorade opened up right now uh, I've talked to several people uh, that have gone by and uh, a couple of fishermen I told them I went from uh, um, Indian Creek to Edgar Evans State Park and they gave me an indication that that was probably somewhere around seven to eight miles one way so I uh, maybe ha might have a 14 mile day or so I did make a uh, wrong turn on my way back uh, went down one little uh, cove and uh, had to turn around and come back to the get my bearings again but uh, I'm making good progress I still got a what two three thirty I got another hour and a half I'll make it back in playing time we'll talk to you later well we are getting real close to being back and the way I know that is by a cave right there Where's that? there it is right there I see that cave right there. I know they're right around the corner. That's the boat ramp. There it is, right there. And as you can tell, the wind's picked up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to paddle a little extra hard to get over there. So Anyway, it's been a great day. I'll talk to you later. Hey there. Well, it's 3.30. And uh, I get to go back to work about 4.30. So I got about an hour. And uh, got everything all packed up. Ready to go. And uh, it was such a good day out on the water today. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Leave some comments and have a great day. Thanks for watching.